Today, Kevin and I are gonna try two items that were sent to us from Eric in Texas. Uh, Eric knows that we love cookies and we love H-E-B because of Eric. So, he sent us the limited edition apple pie twisters. And these are the Nutty Blondie cookies. And so, oh, nutty blonde. Sorry. Well, I guess blondie. Like a blondie. Blondie. Yeah, like a blondie, yeah, a brownie, like blonde. a blondie. Yeah. So we're gonna try that one, heated and unheated, because I know Eric sent us the uh, their chocolate chip cookie. It's in a red package, and we reviewed that on the channel, and we've even tried it like down a blind taste test using them and everything. So um, we tried that heated and unheated. So we'll do the same thing with this one. Mm, okay. mm, they smell very good. Uh, these are a delectably crunchy cookie with creamy white chocolate chips and an array of exotic nuts. It looks the nuts. It. It I'll let you say all that stuff while I go beat it up. It looks like there's uh, six different kinds of nuts in these. Okay, grab one looks like and I, this does not look like the kind of cookie you would hate. Honestly, it doesn't. We're it looks try. like. Something that would just, you would just pull it out of the cabinet and eat yeah. it, but we're gonna try it heated anyway. Okay, it says it has pecans, coconut, cashews, macadamias, almonds, and peanuts. So, uh, let's see. And this is H-E-B, this is San Antonio, Texas. It says it's a product of Canada. Uh, two cookies are 180 calories. You want to try that heated yeah, first? I don't know how heated it got, but I don't think it got heated much. I put it in there for eight seconds, but. Mm. I can taste the coconut. Mm. Coconut's a stronger thing, isn't mm -hmm. it? It is. You really get the coconut. It but reminds me of like a coconut macaroon cookie. I'm not gonna even try it on here because it tastes the same. It didn't. It didn't heat it up enough to make a difference. I don't think there was ingredients in there that would have heated up anyway. Mm -mm. Not like a chocolate chip cookie that has the chocolate chips. The chocolate stuff. chips that get gooey. Ashley loves those. Um, those are good. I just thought we would try it because of last time. But those are the kind of cookies that you would just literally pull out of the cabinet and eat. So eat. How much were they? Those are delicious. Two for one eighty. So 90 each. Yeah, it's a horrible. Yeah, it's, it's but, high, but it's, not. it's a thick, it's a thick cookie. Yeah, and you get a lot in that. Um, you know, Kevin gave me half, and I think I took two bites from that half. That was that was really really That's good. good. Um, and then as far as the nuts go, honestly, what came through for me was the macadamias and the coconut. I got all coconut mine. Of course, I think that depends on what bite of cookie you get too, because they're just kind of all mixed in. Right, so. but that is delicious, and given the choice over those and their the chocolate chip, I would pick those. Yeah, I like the chocolate chip like, too. Though. I know those are really good, but I just I they're like both good. I like them. Okay, these are buttery. These are the limited edition uh, y'all's favorite apple pie twisters sandwich cookies. So they're like an Oreo sandwich cookie. Two cookies are 140 calories. So 70 each is like Oreo. Let's see, it says H-E-B, y'all's favorite apple pie twisters bring the flavors of our country's favorite pie into a delectable cookie. Close your eyes and take a bite. You won't believe it's not an actual slice of y'all's favorite good old fashioned apple pie. Uh, these are made in San Antonio, Texas. Made in Spain. <laughs> so the made in Spain, shipped first to Texas. One said, it's the first one said Canada. Canada. That's funny. Oh wow, these, ah. Oh. Apple, apple. Gosh, that smells good. Mm, that, smells good. that smells awesome. They're, um. That is unbelievable. I love the texture. Like the, the texture of it is amazing. The apple pie flavor mm -hmm. 
It's like you're eating a candle. Mm -hmm. Literally, it's like a, like if when you buy an apple cinnamon candle, that's what that tastes like. I like that the the cream filling in the middle has got the apple flavor. And it's grainy, like you would have if you were eating, you know, apple pie. The apples kind of got a graininess to it. It has a graininess to it. The cookie itself kind of tastes like a crust, and it all has a, like a cinnamon flavor. Oh, apple and cinnamon. Sorry. Uh, an apple cinnamon flavor mixed in, so it's really, really good. Those are absolutely phenomenal cookies. I mean, I'm not even kidding you all. I love those cookies. Those um, would be good in ice cream. Oh, that that is so incredible. I those will be dangerous because I want to eat another one right now. The, the just the texture alone, mm -hmm. and then so you're you're chewing that cookie, but then you get into that the flavor of that center. And I'm telling you, if you ever wanted to eat one of those candles, there we go. That's awesome. I absolutely love those. They're really good. Uh, if you have an HEB in your area and you have not tried these, please, you please, should. please try them. Yeah, because um, they say limited edition, so they won't be out. I would think this is like a, a fall thing, autumn. Oh, and cool. um, what are you doing? Taking part for a picture. Oh. I thought he was going to... No, that one wasn't as full as this one. This one's full. <laughs> Whenever I open a bag of your cookies like this, I look to see which is the, the thickest. <laughs> oh, no, I was looking for... That one didn't go all the way to the edge. The, the cream didn't go out of the edge. That one does. So, um, I was doing it for a picture. And you know, they're probably the same amount on each one, but I always... I do always pick out the thickest one. So, anyway... Eric, thank you so, very so very much because I had seen a picture of these and I don't know if you posted it on Facebook or not. Somebody posted it on Facebook and it's like, I would love to try those. So I really do appreciate you sending both of these. They're two completely different cookies. Look how cookies. big the differences. Oh, wow. Size wise. They're, yeah, they're two completely different cookies so you can't compare them, but I would pick these. I picked the apple over those. Although oh, yeah. they're both really, really they're good. They're both exceptional cookies, but the, the apple ones are just the, the texture and I mean yeah. and as far as comparing these with an Oreo there's no comparison yeah, the texture like of these beats Oreo any day love these mm -hmm. so and it won't surprise me if Oreo didn't try to do this flavor next in mind so so I hope you all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching